So I have been playing with this all day long. I honestly, when it, when it showed up at the door, I had no idea what was coming. I was a little confused as to actually what it was. Um, I was like, oh, it's a neck pillow for some travel that I'll be doing. So when he was nice enough to send me a neck pillow, but that's not it. That's not it. It is a uh, wireless neck band speaker. Now I believe this came out about a year ago, but um, I'm getting it now. So uh, I'm gonna let you know from my experience today, uh, what it's like. Okay, so so first off, first off, let's let's look at what this is. So there's a few things to kind of get out there, I guess. Uh, it talks about this 360 spatial sound that adapts to your ears with Bravia XR. If you have a Bravia XR TV, the moment you plug in the, I believe it's like a transmitter that would plug into your optical out in a USB port on the TV, the TV will actually go through setup. Now, originally when you take these out and you connect them to, let's say your Android or iOS device, iPhone for instance, and you run their app, one of the things is that you can do an analysis on your ears. Yeah, so it actually takes pictures of your ears in regards to your head and figures out uh, a sound profile for you based on ear locations, ear shape. I don't even know what it's doing, but it's some kind of Sony magic. And I wish I could tell you I could test it, but because I don't have a Bravia XR TV, I don't get 360 sound. I didn't, I didn't get to hear it. So I'm sure it's wonderful. And Sony, you are more than welcome to replace my existing TV with a Sony Bravia XR TV so that I can test this out even more so. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it does work with any kind of television or you can use it just as like Bluetooth headphones which is uh, how I started. So lose yourself in the scene. So there are a couple uh, music services out there, example, Tidal, which can actually send you 360 audio. Now these are a lot of subscription services, just like a lot of us have now, be it, you know, uh, Apple Music or Spotify, things like that. Um, but there are a couple out there that actually will send 360 audio. And again, if you have one of those services, which I don't. Yeah, that's right. I'm 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 crossing out all the boxes here, uh, which I don't. You can get 360 audio. Again, really cool, right? Uh, so there's a couple of videos, and actually, if you search for this while you're after you after you finish watching this video, and you search for the SRS nine nine, what is it? No nine, SRS NS seven. SRS NS7, yes. Um, Sony actually has some great videos themselves on this, uh, kind of the development of it, a bit more of the science behind it, as well as a great instructional video on how to make sure you guys set it up properly. So I'm not gonna go into any of that because Sony's got you covered. You can just go watch their videos and they're excellent. Uh, personal cinematic experience, right? Uh, it has this little puck thing, which we'll show you. It has the actual neck speaker neck band and you can uh rock it out on your phone yes yeah so very very cool and uh again i've been using it today and we'll talk about my experience in a minute after we open this up so this is it here dolby atmos so one of the things too this comes in like at canadian wise you're looking at about 400 dollars. so you're thinking greg uh that seems on the pricey side Maybe, and I do think this has, it It all depends on what you are thinking and who you are in regards to the audience, right? If you're a family of four and you're like, hey, uh, how do we all listen to it with this? Well, that's this, this is probably not for you. But if you're someone like, let's say like me, or you're a student, or you're someone that works from home, or anybody that kind of is one-on-one -on -one with whatever it is, their TV or their computer or their phone or whatever in a, in at home, especially, or in an office where you're kind of by yourself, then this becomes, I think, 
a very usable and very worthwhile purchase because if you look at getting yourself a really not even a really good like a really good stereo system that's like Dolby Atmos um, could cost you thousands of dollars uh, even a fairly inexpensive one that actually has some decent sound it probably still cost you 500 to a thousand dollars so you're in that right ballpark now the bonus of this is let's say you're a student or you're someone that has an apartment or a condo or a townhouse or something like that having a large stereo system at home where you can really crank it up to play your video games and watch your movies etc etc may not be something that your neighbors really are looking forward to so being able to use this to get that full cinematic sound experience and be able to really crank up the volume and feel like it's it's room filling when really it's just filling the space in and around your ears and your head uh, and giving you a very, very similar sound experience could be $400 well spent, right? So you gotta have to think about that, you know, don't think of this as, you know, a stereo replacement if you're replacing it for a family, but if you're someone that's doing it on your own, I think I think you'll love these. Okay, this is this is the box. Twelve hours. Uh, I listened to it all day. Uh, I was playing with it all day, and I probably listened to it about eight hours. And I'm I think I'm down. I think when I last listened, it was like thirty percent or something like that. So I had it up pretty loud. So my guess is they're probably close, depending on your volume. I'm gonna say ten-ish hours. Right is what I'd probably get. Uh, 360 spatial sound that adapts to your ears with Bravia XR. With Bravia XR. Now, I don't have a Bravia TV. Again, Sony, right? I'm just saying. Um, if not, though, you get, you get, you do get excellent sound. Like, it is excellent sound. And as I'm opening this box, um, I was, I was watching some TV. And, and primarily what you, you do is, um, I'll talk about it as I open it. This is, this is, you guys hopefully can see that right there. Um, this is if you're hooking it up to your TV, right? Right, 360 spatial sound personalizer. Uh, they do have this headphone connect app that you can download if you're gonna connect it to your your cell phone, right? To your, your iPod or iPhone or iPad or Android, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, which allows you to do the ear analysis, which again, super cool. Move this over here. So this is this is the puck. This is the puck. Okay, it's super simple. Uh, inside here, you will get what's called a toss link or an optical cable. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a TV or something. Uh, this is probably going to be your TV, and most TVs that are current will have an optical out or a toss link out, and it looks like a little. Well, it looks like the same kind of opening that that is right there, uh, and it's basically it looks like a little laser light that connects in here and it connects to your TV. Now, a few things on your TV, and this is gonna be different location-wise on every TV out there, but there's two settings that you're really looking for. Number one is that you actually have your TV's speakers set to use optical out. And again, it may be called optical out, it may be called toss link. So one of those two is what you're gonna be looking to have that sound pushed out through. Okay, because you want it to push out of your TV through that cable into this port. Secondly, you have a USB-C cable here or USB-C port. And this is what powers this. And as far as I can tell, this is also, if you have one of the Bravia TVs, um, this is going to let the TV know that this is plugged into it and then download your, your ear profile off of your account, your Sony account, and then use that profile along with this so that you get that 360 sound and that uh, extended enhanced uh, experience through it. So um, it would be super cool. I'd love to try it because even without the 360 stuff, they sounded amazing. Uh, last but not least, it is Bluetooth. And, and the reason for this is it has basically a built-in codex inside it so that it can send over Bluetooth without like any kind of delay or any kind of loss of compression and things like that because Bluetooth on its own can have some issues. Now, I do believe I read that if you have a Bravia 2022, not all of them, but a 2022 version, I believe, or newer, uh, some of those will allow uh, all that information to just 
be directly connected. So you could connect this direct to your TV and the TV kind of has, I think, all the stuff that this puck has in it in the television. So uh, very easy when you do plug it into your TV. And if your TV doesn't have a USB port on it, uh, you can plug this straight into a wall if you just need to get power into it. So just plug it into it, your, your traditional like iPhone charger or iPad charger kind of thing, right? USB, plug it into the wall. Um, this will light up a top here. So there's a little tiny light right there. And if it hooks up or connects, starts up and it's orange, that means it's powered, it's connected, but there's a setting wrong on your TV. And usually that setting is one of two things. Number one is that the optical cable isn't chosen as you're out, right? That makes sense. Number two is that your TV needs to send, uh, and again, you'll see this in one of the settings, and it's usually under like the audio format that it's sending out, and you wanna make sure that it's set to PCM. And PCM allows basically like a pass-through connection. So if it's coming from your Apple TV through the television and out to this, or coming from your PlayStation and going through your TV and then out through this, or coming from, it doesn't really matter. It passes through and the codec and the audio format and all that kind of comes through, which allows this to send it out to this. Yes? Cool. If that is all set up and rocking and it's working great, this will then be blue. Um, you're going to click and hold this. It should flash, meaning that it goes into pairing mode, right? And then you wait and you take these out. Now they do recommend that before you turn these on, you stick them on a charger and charge them. Uh, you're looking at about, if they were completely dead, they say about four hours. Uh, mine, when I got them, were at 60%. So I charged them for about, I don't know, an hour and change, I guess, and they were at 100, so we were good. Uh, Cable-wise, you will see I'm missing one because it's already connected to my television upstairs. This is a long USB-C to USB-A. It also has a shorter USB-C to USB-A. Uh, it has, uh, oh, I do get, look at that, free trial. I could have gone in and listened to it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and maybe I'll leave a comment below so that you guys can, uh, I can tell you what it's like, but I'm doing, I'm doing some traveling this month. So this would be a great time for me to try this trial. I'm not gonna turn that over so you can see the code cause then you'll just go use it and I'll be, I'll be screwed. A uh, bunch of manuals and this cable in here without you, without seeing, uh, we'll show it to you. This is the Toslink cable I was talking about. So that is the actual uh, like laser. It's like a laser cable. Yeah, optical cable, red laser cable. That's all in there. Um, it's good. It's everything you need, everything you need. Uh, I'm gonna close this box and put that in there. La 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 la. Basically, like I said, when this is plugged in, flashing blue, right? This, you'll see, uh, there's four speakers, so there's two on this side, two on this side, and then there's two like little subs on here. It is really nice because it's kind of bendy, which is which is super nice. Uh, you have a power button on this side. You have a mute or mic button, so you can use these for calls. Uh, and I would think if you have these connected to like a gaming console, you should be able to use them for gaming, which would be all right. I did listen to them or use them for gaming, but not like online gaming. Uh, on this side, you're going to have your plus and minus. So that's going to be for your volume because especially on a TV, you're going to use that to increase and decrease your volume. The other thing that is useful <laughs> is that this is where your USB-C is, right? So right there, this is going to have to be how going to be how you charge it. And if you turn it on, ready? Power on. Cool. And you're like, I wonder how much battery is left in it. You can just tap it again. Battery fully charged. Fully charged. Oh yes. So you'll see that this blue is flashing. If this was flashing, they would automatically start to pair together. Cool. Uh, but today, ah, look how nice that is, right? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to pair this to my phone. So we're just going to go in here and uh, we're going to go into Bluetooth. And at the very bottom, we should see, do I see anything? I was probably looking for that, right? So let's well, I got to hold it again because that's how you get Bluetooth pairing. Ready? Power off. Okay. I'm going to click it on. And keep it held. Power on. Hold on. Bluetooth pairing. There we go. So now 
you'll see, there they are, SRS NS7. I think I said it right this time. Bluetooth oh. connected. And I have, here's, here's a few things. Number one, uh, I can't play anything copyrightable, copyrightable, because you're going to hear it. This is not something that you would take on the bus or you would take flying with you or anything because everybody's going to hear it. It is sending kind of audio up upwards at you, right? So for instance, if I went into my library here, I'm going to pick just something that's has no copyright on it because that's kind of important. Ready? Now, you guys are going to be able to hear this for sure. Not near as good as I have, I'm hearing it. And it sounds fantastic. Think about the best earbuds you've probably listened to in a while. And then have like transparency mode turned on because you can hear everything that's around you. It's fantastic. Plus, no, no like ear pressure or anything like that, right? So if you're watching a movie or something, you could easily watch for hours, yes? And again, the volume is on this side, so you can kind of like, did I go up or down? Oh, that's stop, let's play, right? Yeah, and then this one will come down. Very, very, very cool. Um, next song, for instance, right? Some little bit of rock. And of course I can, because it's iPhone based or software based, I can crank it up in here. Awesome as well. So music wise, fantastic. But again, you have to understand what the what these are for, where you're going to use them. This is going to be something that you use in your apartment. This is going to be used in your office that, you know, you're kind of, you know, secluded and stuff like that. Because if not, everybody else is listening to what you're hearing. Not as loud as you, of course, but, you know, it's there. Um, Playing games, again, I played some games today on my PS5, I played some games today on my Xbox, I watched some movies on my Apple TV, I watched some TV shows on the Apple TV, uh, th all through this. And one of the biggest things that I noticed, again, not that this is full 360 because I don't have the TV, but I, I would say after about 10 minutes or so, I totally forgot that I was wearing this and I was so immersed in the sound and that sounds, you know, very, you know, cheesy or very like, oh, he's using that immersive word, whatever, right? But it's true. Like I, I totally forgot because when you hear, you know, you wear headphones, you kind of just, you feel the pressure all the time and you, and you just, you know, you're wearing headphones, right? Same thing with earbuds. I didn't get any of that. I was just kind of in it. And it was funny because uh, my wife phoned me and I was watching, no, I was playing a game and I put it on pause. And of course the music was still playing with the pause menu up and I'm talking to her and she's just like, can you turn the TV down? And I was just like, oh yeah, my phone is right on top of the speaker. I totally forgot that I was wearing it. And during the playing session, I have to say that the sound was way better than, well, at least the stereo that I'm hooked into upstairs. Uh, downstairs here, I have a full 5.1 surround system, which is multi thousand dollars. It's still better, but it's not as big an improvement, I think, as you might think. These were really, really good. And, and again, if you can get that 360 because of your TV, uh, super cool. Now, the last thing just to show you guys, because you'll be like, okay, this is, this is the headphones app right here, right? So you can actually see it's connected AAC, right? Uh, you can go to status. This is all your sound stuff. There's your analyze your ear, uh, optimize your app. So you can come in here and hit optimize. And I think, right, if you, these are the optimized app. So if you click on any of these, where's my camera down here, uh, it'll make sure that it, you're logged in and all this kind of stuff. Now, I don't have any of those right now. I will though, uh, system, uh, you can see download software automatically. If you have firmware updates, Initialize settings will make sure you format everything and get it back to normal. This shows all your battery information, power, and click up here. All this good, good stuff, right? Backup and restoration of settings. What a fantastic system. Fantastic system. Um, I spend the majority of the day upstairs by myself because our daughter's at work and my wife's at work. And I work at home, but I'll take an hour or two off 
you know, throughout the day, just as the computer's working or I'm taking lunch or whatever it is. And I'll put these on now. I'll put these on. I still can be quiet because I have the cats and the puppy. I don't want to wake them up if I don't have to. And I can just kind of sit back, play a game, do whatever. And if my wife is up late, she can wear these instead of turning on the stereo so that I can sleep while she's upstairs watching whatever she's watching. Um, I think these are fantastic. Again, they came out about a year ago, but I had never even heard of them. No idea. And I think they are a complete, complete win. Uh, I'm super excited to be able to wear them, to try them. And uh, it's funny, right? Splash proof. Well, I guess don't. It's not as if you're going to wear these to the gym or out for a walk, right? But I guess if you, for some reason, splash dishes on them, that would that would be cool, I guess. All right, guys, uh, I will leave links to Sony's website if you guys want to check them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, again, we have some trips coming up right away. And uh, I'm bringing these. I'm bringing these with me because so cool, so cool. All right, guys. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next video. Later.